All right, so this one says, in an attempt to be environmentally friendly, the city council decides that there must be at least 18 trees on each block in the city. A sample of 20 blocks was randomly surveyed, and these results, number of trees per block, um, with these results. So these are the results. What does the mean, the sample mean, number of the trees per block? Or we just need to take the arithmetic average of this. So here's a really cool feature in your calculator. Now, normally you would just add them up and divide by the number, but what we can actually do, um, your calculator has an average um, thing in it. So I can go into my stat thing, and let me clear this out. Boom. And let me clear this out. Boop. All right. So now if I just plug these numbers in, so the first number is 24. Let me move the calculator out of the way. You can kind of see it. Whoops. Quite moving out of the way. First number is 24. The second number is 17. The next number is 7. Next we have 20. Um, then we have 28, then we have 27, then we have 10. So if I enter these into the list, there is an actual feature on the calculator that will take the average of this. This is really helpful too um, when you do like, if you take a stat class, and that's what this is, is like a, it's an introduction to stats. Normally, what would you do? You would just add all these numbers up and divide by the total number of numbers, but you can actually enter this in and then do like um, stat data. So 22 and then two 27s. I just want to make sure I'm getting the numbers right. And you could do the average, you could do the mean, you could find the quartiles, you could do a uh, box and whisker plot or you can do all kinds of cool stuff, but you got to enter it into the calculator first as a list. Um, 20, 24, and 17. So now that I have this entered in as a list, I can go to um, second stat. Whoops, I got to go to stat and I go to calculate. Now, if I do one variable stats, what that's going to do is it's going to give me a list of information, but it also gives me X bar, which is the mean. So I'm letting the calculator know that I'm just going to do list one. There is no frequency list, and now I'm just going to calculate it. So my X bar is the mean. Everything else, like there's the sum of X, so the total number of values was 426. In other words, if I add all these numbers up, it's 426. Let me just take a screenshot so I can move it. The total number of numbers was 20. Um, there's some other information that's useful, uh, standard deviation and, and uh, variation and all that stuff. But, Um, so the answer is 21. The mean is 21.3. Guys, 